If you would like to hear Night Dreams Talk Radio on your local radio station, let them know. Tell them to check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. And thank you. Eric Cooper, S4 Radio, on Night Dreams Talk Radio Network, gets deep into the paranormal. Welcome back to S4 tonight. We're talking Project Blue Book. What's fiction and what's real? Hope you're all enjoying tonight's show. So you can also find the archives at our speaker site and on the S4 YouTube channel for all the shows you missed in the last two years. Anyway, back to the show. And before we get to our listeners' question, Cole, finish, uh, finish what you were talking about real quick. Okay, so I can see how a lot of kids today, like uh, the younger generation, are using, uh, are getting more in touch with their spirituality. But at the same time, you can also see how more of them, yes, they're leaving the church, but they're heading straight towards fantasy worlds to fill in that void. And the problem is with that, with the video games, the movies, everything that has, is becoming more and more realistic as you see it, they are becoming desensitized completely, not only to like factual items, everything in their life. They are so desensitized that movies that scared us as kids are comedies to them. Yeah. I could agree with that. Having a seven and an eight year old. <laughs> so the problem is like, we're looking at disclosure as an item that it's not going to be, it's going to be us re- being, it being revealed that aliens are real. Compared to it, it could be something where the alien war that we've heard is going on that we are just a speck of, we suddenly become involved in, and these kids aren't going to be able to do anything about it because they're desensitized to it. But yes and no. Desensitized, uh, I don't think, is an accurate portrayal. I think... In some cases, which, uh, you know, the kids I'm talking about are minority to all of them, but I think prepared is more uh, what they need to be. I I want to get to a question, though, real quick. Uh, Sharon's in the chat room. She wants to know, what about the government creating a false flag alien invasion on Earth before people find out the truth? Uh, Does anyone have any input on that one? Sure. Uh, this is Michael, of course, and uh, you know what? What's really uh, I see happening is you when you take a big picture look at what's going on in this fast uh, disclosure that is just ramping up uh, rapidly uh, from just one year ago. I believe <laughs> is that. Uh, there is something coming down the road that is pushing this agenda so quickly right now. Um, and the, the powers that be know that something is coming. They know that disclosure is going to happen eventually. And I believe they're needing to get ahead of the spin. They need to real, they already realize that once actual disclosure happens, they're going to be in, in bad shape. They're, they're going to lose power. They're going to be uh, unnecessary in some cases. And uh, in a lot of cases, there's going to be retribution that's going to be, like payback is going to be huge on this thing. Um, people will realize at one point that, oh, my gosh, if you knew that now, when did you first know that? And uh, how long have it been kept from us? That kind of thing. So what's what's happening uh, at this point, I believe, is that the powers that be are either going to try to do this false flag event uh, and try to couch it in the terms of this being a threat and that we need to band together and we need to uh, impose martial law and we need to uh, protect everyone from this um, outside aggressor UFOs or whatever you call them. So I think... That's going to be part of a spin. And you've all so, heard of uh, 
project uh, Blue Beam and those kinds of things that uh, supposedly have the technology uh, to kind of pull that off. Well, Space Force comes to mind. Are they going to build a wall in space to keep the other aliens out? Um, <laughs> but, you, you know, and I, I'm going to tread on the political side here lightly, but we brought this up last week. And we've all known there's been a there's been a refugee problem in this country for a long time. Um, there's no crisis at the border that's being portrayed. My honest opinion. Um, you, you know, I had a son-in-law that was deported three times. He, he he was back in Seattle the next day. That's how easy it was to get back over the border. But that was ten years ago. Is there a bigger problem now? I don't think so. So I'll ask you again, and you're going to say bingo, but what is the distraction? Why are they focused on a wall right now? What's really going on? Michael? Oh, uh, it's a distraction. Got to keep people away from uh, what's really going on. So, you know, all this political fomentation of you know, the various things we hear on Fox News and, you know, the talking heads arguing with one another. It's just a distraction. Uh, try to fill in the uh, the time that people are awake and keep them uh, uh, either confused or, um, you know, in trepidation about something. And as long as they can do that, um, they keep people from being, uh, uh, you know, interested or focused on what uh, is the important stuff. Like Project Blue Book? Well, no, Project Blue Book <laughs> is just uh, is just part of the spin uh, that's uh, coming down the road with mainstream media and uh, production companies and uh, movie, movie companies coming out with this uh, the stuff to red pill the public. Uh, they need to get enough people up to see what they, what they don't want is they want, they don't want panic themselves. They know something is going to happen and they are in the process of trying to disclose it their way so that when whatever is going to happen comes down the road, uh, they don't have to deal with, uh, the public backlash. They're going to be, try to get ahead of that and try to lead, uh, this, uh, public, um, you know, big wave in a certain direction. So that's part of Project Blue Book and all these these new things that you see in the mainstream media about UFOs and the Harvard astronomers talking about Amuamua, uh, you know, maybe being an alien probe, you know, all that stuff. It's just astronomical what's going on right now in the mainstream media. And I've got to say, you know, Kayla's in the chat room saying the government needs an outside force to blame for your problems. Why not ETs? And the first thing that popped into my head was Ronald Reagan at the U.N. Security Council, where he said almost those exact same words. I, I do know why they need the distraction, I think. What's that? The hostess factory <laughs> actually did close, and they are running out of stockpiles of Twinkies. <laughs> this world is about to go into chaos. I think so. And coffee, you know, that came up. Actually, Trip brought the the fact that coffee is about to uh, uh, be in a world of hurt. I'm about to stock up on my my coffee, coffee and cigarettes, and I'm good. Um, Dave, I want your input on this. In regards to the wall, well, I regards wait. to distraction. Well, I mean, as far as far as the wall is concerned, uh, you know, being up here in Canada, you you just be prepared for the amount of shrubs we're going to put up on the 49th parallel. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, it, it, in regards to distraction from the topic at large, I really do believe that what what is happening is there is some sort of of understanding of what is going on. They are making people more comfortable with the topics because that is kind of what they have to do in order to start getting the message out. Let's remember, I mean, if we're sticking on the topics of UFOs here for a second, mm -hmm. all right, the To the Stars Academy, everybody gives them credit. And for 
certain amounts, they do deserve credit. I don't agree with a lot of the things that To The Stars Academy has done. I've gone on record with that. However, there is a lot of good things that have come from them. They've pressed the issue. They've made sure that nobody's making fun of these stories on news networks anymore, which is fantastic. They've brought the subject to a mainstream light, and I and we have to thank them for that. But when you look at shows like Blue Book, you look at shows like The Return of X-Files, you look at shows that are out there, Space Force, if you want to include that as well, news stories like the pilots in Ireland from Virgin Airlines who who reported these UFO sightings uh, back in October, I believe. The public is getting ready. They are warming up. As Grant Cameron likes to say, and Michael, you've probably heard Grant say this, it's not about disclosure right now. It's about confirmation. Get people used to the subject. I mean, as far as some sort of alien invasion or anything along those lines coming to fruition, it could happen. It could very well happen, depending on the way disclosure goes or the way they want it to go. If they want some sort of mass hysteria, they will throw it in there. Okay, Look what's happened to the Muslim community. It's the exact same thing. Everybody is fearful of the Muslim community. Is that mass hysteria or is it truth? At this point, I don't think anybody really knows. You know, but... I mean, we look at uh, Westerners, good, Middle Easterners, bad, Eastern people, good, right? So it could very well be that there is some sort of distraction going on, but does it tie to covering up UFOs? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think this world has bigger problems than they do about worrying about something that is very easily covered up when they put it right in front of you. Right. So, Chris, go ahead, go ahead, Cole. I will say it does kind of make sense for them to do a slow level of disclosure over time. Because to be honest, you look at the world today, we can't even handle a celebrity couple breaking up. Hmm. What would we do if they just said aliens are real? Okay, well, what about this theory, guys? And I've heard this from about six different sources. And some people may believe it, some may not. All right? that we all make fun of the National Enquirer, all right? We all make fun of it. Mm -hmm. However, there are sources 